My name is Barbie the Welder and today I'm going to teach you how to make a key rack using horseshoes. And what we're going to do is we're going to take them and we're going to cut them off and we're going to make them into letters that spell out the word keys. To make our project we are going to take and use five horseshoes. The horseshoe sizes don't matter and you can use them new or used. Um, if you use used horseshoes please clean the shit out of them first. Uh, you can get new horseshoes from, um, I, I get mine from a local tractor supply store, and um, you can uh, check out local farriers or farmers. They, uh, they have used ones laying around, or check your, uh, your local scrap pile place. That's always a treasure hunt. So to make them, we're going to make a few cuts. We're going to take and use a, um, an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel to, uh, to cut them up. And you've got um, a couple of different cuts you need to make. I hope I can get this close enough to where you see. See the black lines? We've got one here and one here. And you're going to want to mark your first horseshoe at those two positions, and those are going to get cut there. That is going to be your K. Your second horseshoe right across here and here. That is going to be part of your Y. You're going to use this part here. and It'll end up being like this. And one of the pieces to make the tail for your Y. And then the other piece is going to be the E. Then horseshoe, you're not going to do anything with that, and we're just going to use that. It's going to turn on its side and use the one side piece to make the E uh, from that horseshoe. And then you're going to take two more horseshoes and see the marks right there at the top. Those are going to be cut right in half, and we're going to use three of those four pieces, and that'll make up the S. Alright, now that we got all our pieces cut, we are going to lay them out on our bench the way that we want them to look like when, uh, when they're done being welded. Here you go. It's like a puzzle. You just have to take um, each of the pieces and figure out how they best fit together. This is your first one that uh, when it started out, it looked like this. So now you just take it and your longest piece is your um, the leg of your K. This one can go up. This one can go down. And you just Monkey around with it until you get it where um, where you like it and you think it looks good. Your E is very simple. It's just a horseshoe laying on its side. And you take one of the small cuts that came off of this one here. And you put it over here. Your Y, the two pieces. I actually lost one and that's why one is a little bit longer than the other one. I had to cut another uh, horseshoe up. That happens. Um, so the two pieces that come off of here, one should have gone over and been the, uh, the piece for the E. And then uh, the other one, you just take it down here. And it's a tail for your Y. And then your S is the two halves with the, um, the third half of, uh, or the one and a half of the, the fifth horseshoe. So what I personally like to do is I like to get all my letters set up individually. I make them look nice the way I like them to look. I lay them out um, and then I will go ahead and tack them up uh, individually and then I'll take them and I will, um, once they're tacked individually, I'll weld them individually and then I will weld them all together. Alright, got my welding beanie on, got to protect my, uh, my hair. Um, got mine from Doug's Welding Caps. She is a badass. Lulu, my girl, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. It's so much nicer to weld and not have to worry about burning my head. All right, so commercial over. Got uh, got my K laid out, and I'm just gonna monkey around with it. Make sure that I like how the layout is. It's important just to, uh, just take your time and lay it out. I think I'm gonna turn it just a little bit backward from the way I had it. Yeah. Huh? 
happen to get laid out, get tacked together and take a look and see how it looks. So get that one tacked up. I like how that looks. You just gotta make sure that um, as you're tacking, sometimes um, every time you put heat to metal, it's gonna move it. Um, sometimes you know if you've got a gap here and you weld out here, it's actually gonna pull your um, pull your two pieces of material in together. So what you need to do is just keep an eye on it. You start welding all on one side because I'm welding just on the front of this. It's actually gonna take it where it's flat. It's actually gonna take it and kind of curl up. So as your um, as you're tacking, it's easy to tack on both sides. Um, I put a hell of a gap in this one because I like the angle this way better, and I'm just going to fill in that gap with MIG weld. Uh, you take your time, just kind of um, you pulse your trigger a little bit, and you can you know slowly fill that in. So MIG welding is awesome. There's a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of leeway you have in there. So once you get it tacked up, just keep an eye on that and watch your watch the shape of it. Mine's starting to come here. It's starting to come off the. Uh, Come off the bench a little bit. So I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to tack on the back side. And sometimes when you, sometimes when you do that, and I know I'm going to say it and it's not going to do it, but sometimes when you do it, it'll take it and it'll actually like bring it back, uh, back, back to even. Like lightly tap, but sometimes you can tap a little bit harder with your hand. Is you can hammer that a little bit, and it'll bend it back the way it's supposed to be by just having that as um, as a level to lift that up. Oh, it's art. It doesn't have to be perfect. I get really picky about my stuff. I just uh, I don't know OCD. I don't know what it is, but uh, I want it to be flat when I get done. And this is gonna end up hanging on the wall. So I I personally I don't want it you know coming out from the wall. It, it depends, you know, our art is so it's subjective. If you like it, I mean, it does give it a, a unique twist. It maybe, you know, maybe it looks better that's coming out from the wall to you. It's just, um, it's your personal style, so you get to personalize it. That's what makes art fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am gonna tack up the rest of these pieces. And I just put one 
on the bottom. Of, uh, I put about five of them across it. I've got uh, just a few different ones just to make it interesting and fun. So what I'll do is I will go ahead and put it on there. I'll take a look at it, make sure that uh, it looks good, and tack it up and then weld it right around the bottom. guys just saw me do is these are a pair of welpers if you've not seen them before normally they have a spring here in the middle that helps you out these are a fantastic tool for uh, mig welding you've got uh, spots here for your um, your tip for your um, for your nozzle for your tip they've got uh, little red pieces in there they work like needle nose pliers then to top it off they have each side of these it's a little hammer so what had, happened, what had happened was that uh, when I tacked this on, that uh, it was off a little bit, so I just took the little tiny hammer on the side of it and just tapped it back to where it needed to be. project welded up, you are going to have weld spatter and you're going to have um, discoloration from the welds. What uh, well, I always do every project of mine, I take a wire brush and I take and clean all the, um, a lot of the spatter will come off if your machine is set up right, a lot of that spatter will just kind of come off with a wire brush, an international symbol for a wire brush. <laughs> um, what doesn't come off with a wire brush, I take a hammer and a small chisel and I chip it off. Uh, two things. One, it's safety. You don't want someone to pick up your art and cut themselves on a piece of uh, piece of slag or um, spatter. And uh, two, it just it, it looks good. It cleans it up, and uh, it just uh, I don't know. I can't leave something with, uh, with slag and stuff on it, man. It just it looks better that way for me. 
help go ahead and uh, get your project cleaned up and uh, when uh, when you're finished with that I take um, I personally use um, a clear coat it's a rattle can rust oleum uh, clear coat uh, this, I spray once it's cooled I'll make sure it's cooled off um, I spray a couple of layers on it like a spray layer I'll let it uh, let it dry up a little bit and I'll put a second layer on it uh, I like it because it keeps it from rusting. It uh, gives the metal a nice patina. I, I like how it looks. Um, you can let it rust. Uh, it, it looks cool like that too. It just that's my personal preference. Again, art is subjective. Uh, you make your project what you want, which makes it a lot more fun that way. If, uh, if you guys really enjoyed this project, man, I got a book coming out uh, August 1st. Uh, 30 horseshoe projects that uh, you can weld at home. Check it out. It's on Amazon and it's on. Um, Check it out through Barnes and Noble and uh, a couple other spots. Just search Horseshoe Crafts, 30 projects you can weld at home, Barbie the Welder. Uh, I really appreciate it, guys. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. I hope what, uh, what I'm showing here is uh, is helping you guys out, helping you guys getting out of the shop and being creative. Um, making the letters, making the alphabet is, uh, is just amazing with horseshoes. You can just do absolutely anything once you figure out how to make them. And uh, you can take the um, take some of the cuts that I showed you here and figure out the rest. If you have any questions and don't know, um, A through Z is in that book that uh, you can uh, check it out. And I take it in that book. I'll take you step by step through 30 different projects that will um, you, know, you guys can make them for fun, for gifts, or uh, take that stuff to craft shows and I'll make you guys sell some money with that stuff, man. I really appreciate you taking the time to check this out. Uh, check out um, Instagram and Facebook. I'm on there all the time with all kinds of shenanigans and fun stuff. I will uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much.